In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a Wacom tablet in Excel to do some really cool math stuff. Let's say you want to do some calculations with acoustics and it's usual that you have these formulas with L subscript P and 10 to the power of back and forth and uh, pretty strange th things to, to write basically. Well, Excel can be very useful if you want to do a summation of several, several uh, different uh, columns and rows and stuff like that, which you often end up with when you're working with acoustics, like third octave bands. Let's say you want to do a, a logarithmic addition of, of, of sound pressure levels. Well, if you look at the formula, see, I'm just writing now straight into my Excel sheet here. Uh, LP total equals... 10 times the logarithm of 10 to the power of LP1 divided by 10 plus 10 to the pi power of LP2 divided by 10 plus 10 to the power of LP3 divided by 10. Like so. And let's say we have our sound pressure levels here. LP1 equals, and then we say it's uh, 55 dB and LP... 2 equals 60 dB, and then finally we have LP3, which is 58 dB. You see here how quickly, and I can scribble down some notes, this will take quite some time to do with the keyboard. And honestly, I like the looks of this when you have handwritten notes. It's just, it feels very engineery to me, and that's pretty cool. So, let's do this addition then and see what we can find out. So, if we got LP total equals 10 to the power of log... Uh, let's see how we can write this then. If we're going to do it really in a pedagogical way, we're going to go for 10 to the power of... of... Uh, 55. 5 divided by 10 plus 10 to the power of 60 divided by 10 hey yeah. <laughs> plus 10 to the power of 58 divided by 10 so there we have it the reason I do this is just because I want to be extra pedagogical and to make this one easy to follow along with later. So, uh, what I also usually do when I have like variables like this, I say I mark them and then I just give them a little splash of color and they're easier to see, like this. And then we got the next step, LP total, let's continue this one. 10 equals... And then it's equal to... Now we can just sum this one up, this baby. Equals 10 times the logarithm of, whoops, 10 times the logarithm, oh no, I dropped, no, my pen, it went under side, underneath my computer, where did it go, oh here, ah, it, it rolled away on the floor, let's see, my, yeah, my dog just ran away, oh well, yeah, I know that he's smart. But we'll catch him then. Uh, let's just do this really quick before he goes too far. That one divided by 10 plus 10 times to the power of that one divided by 10 plus 10 to the power of that one divided by 10 and end parenthesis go. There you have it. 63 dB. And then mark that one as well. And we can also give it a little splash of color. So we see here's the final result. What do you think of this? It's pretty nice, yes? I really, really like to use Excel in this way. It's like a, it's like a big uh, calculator on steroids. So it's, uh, it's great. Highly recommended. And I really enjoy using my Wacom in this way. That's one of the use cases that you can use them. And in tonight's video, I'm wearing uh, the top part of a two-piece suit, this beige jacket, white shirt, and a burgundy little pocket square, pair it with a green pair of pants. So, quite a nice combo. 
See you later.